yeah so welcome back to my channel and in this video i will be explaining how you can uh, import different structures of protein as well as ligand from the alternate way uh, in ucsf chimera so for that uh, let us first open ucsf chimera okay so when you open ucsf chimera your window will look like this <laughs> but when you want to change its view where you can see other options you can just click on this small button which is in the blue color so i am clicking it over here now uh, i will show you how you can import this structure which is 6cm4 from this pdb without downloading it onto your desktop okay so for that what you need to do is you need to go to this button which says fetch so i will click on this fetch and here uh, there are multiple options or multiple databases from where you can import your structures but now we are interested for this video to import the structure from pdb so simply what we need to do over here is that we have to copy this number 6cm4 so this is basically the the uh, id of the entry for this protein which is deposited in this pdb so you simply copy this number and then you go to We'll minimize this for a while and then you simply paste it over here so 6cm4 is the protein that we are interested to import so as soon as i click on this fetch you just keep an eye on the button over here or uh, you will just keep an eye on this this window of chimera on the left bottom it will try it, it will be fetching this protein from the internet so you must be connected to the internet so as i click on fetch yes so as you can see it has imported this protein uh, from the pdb directly without we downloading this protein into our system so if you want to just save this protein you have to click on this file and save to this save as pdb over here and uh, yes you can give its name you can choose the folder where you want to uh, save it okay but for this video we we are not going to use this protein this is just a tutorial video regarding how you can uh, import these structures without downloading it so this is one way uh, so now let us just talk about the ligands okay so i will just close this session okay so whenever in the camera you close the session whatever is there onto your screen will just disappear and you will be uh, on this blank new uh, window of ucsf chimera okay so now our next task is to understand how we can fetch different ligands uh, or different small molecules into chimera without downloading them okay so for that what we will do is that we will just open one of the entries from uh, pubchem so we will simply search pubchem and into this window we will search for resperidone okay so in my previous videos you would have noticed that uh, i would rather download this structure from here into the sdf format but in today's video i will be showing the alternate method so i will not be downloading this this uh, ligand molecule directly from here so on to this page when you just open this what you see is the first thing uh, is cid pubchem cid which is the entry number for this ligand so the entry number for this ligand is 5073 so this is basically called as a cid okay so now make sure that when you are downloading the uh, structure it has to be cid and not sid in certain cases for pubchem there might be this number which is sid so if the number is sid this method will not work so in chimera you open this chimera and you just uh, just for a second we will copy the cid number so we will just copy this minimize this window and then go back to chimera and into this chimera we will go to this option which says tools and from tools we will go to structure editing and here there is an option which says build structure so you click on it now when the new window of this build structure it comes onto your screen you just select the fourth option which says pubchem cid okay so when you click on this pubchem cid you just 
paste the number which is the pubcam cid make sure that the number is correct otherwise you will be downloading the wrong or uh, fetching the wrong ligand so 5073 5073 over here as well and you just give three letter abbreviation for this so i will just say res for resperidone and i will just press this button which says apply so now it is showing that it is fetching the molecule and you as you see over here it has fetched this molecule okay so uh, this is the another way by which you can uh, fetch this molecule directly from web you must be connected to the internet for this uh, and you see the structure so you can save it into the desired format it can be pdb it can be mol2 depending upon your choice and your need so now we will close this session and i will show you the third way or uh, the another alternative way to download this molecule okay so in this next method we will be making use of something which is called as smiles so now uh, you scroll down onto this page and you just scroll down scroll down scroll down and till you reach this place which says smiles okay so now what is this smiles smiles uh, as you can see so if you just google what is smiles so uh, it is a very important thing that you must know so uh, smiles is basically uh, an abbreviation of the term which is specified molecular input line entry system so what happens over here is that when you have this chemical structure with you you can convert this information into a single line okay so basically the smile will look something like this it is a single line and with uh, numbers and letters alphabets and some symbols okay so uh, for this molecule that we are working with which is resperidon the smile is this one it will always look something like this so it will have this alphabets numbers some symbols uh, and so for this you just copy smiles uh, you minimize this window and now we will try to fetch this molecule or construct this molecule with the help of smiles okay so if you have smiles copied you go to tools and then you go to this option which says structure editing onto chimera and then you go to this option which says build structure now when you open this window this is the same window where we had opened it earlier uh, but here now what you do is you select the third option which says smile string so as soon as you select the smile string uh, you just paste the smiles that you have copied from the upchem okay so if you change any of this uh, the structure of the molecule will change so make sure that you copy it properly and paste it properly without losing any uh, alphabets or symbols and you simply press on apply okay so as soon as you press on apply the structure will come in front of you like this okay uh, and this is the way by which we can uh, download or fetch the molecules with the help of smiles one more thing regarding smiles is that smiles are very important for most of the tools that we use for chemistry uh, like how to modify this structure how to make a derivatives of this structure we first require the smiles okay and so uh, smiles are very important uh, you should know how to use smiles in different places so different tools you open for analyzing the uh, physiochemical properties of these molecules basically they will ask for smiles you paste your smiles and the tool will give you the properties of the molecules that you are working with so smiles are basically very important a component for uh, storing the information regarding the molecule into a single line okay so i hope this video has uh, helped you uh, so here we our focus was to fetch the molecules from the alternate ways the ideal way is what you simply download the molecule and then either it can be a protein or it can be a ligand you just then go to files and then from this option which says open you can open the molecule as well okay 
but uh, as for the uh, objective of our video i wanted to teach how you can fetch the molecules with the alternate method as well okay so if you don't get sdf file or you don't have the pdb uh, protein you can simply fetch it from the uh, database which is allowed by the chimera uh, so i hope this video is helpful to you i will be uh, making such videos so that uh, the things become more simpler to you so thank you for being with me for the entire video